Hello, Year 11 students. This is Mr. Sheikh, and I am recording this message for all of you to try and give you a little bit of information um, during what is undeniably a very difficult and confusing time for all of you, I'm sure. Um, so, now this is what we are trying to do. This is what we are doing to help you. Okay? We are cutting the tests in length so that they're only going to last an hour. You're going to be sitting exam papers, but instead of those exam papers being one and a half hours, they're only going to be an hour. In order to do this, we're going to be cutting out topics. And generally speaking, we're going to be cutting out topics that you haven't studied. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I don't know, it depends on how you look at it, um, we are going to cut some topics that we have already learned, but it's typically things that, you know, based on your mock exams and based on the experience that your teachers have had with you, these are topics that you found difficult anyway. So we've cut some topics out. We are going to teach you topics which are going to come up in the test. Now that is something that's really, really beneficial, something that other year groups probably didn't get such a direct help like this. One of the things that I often get asked is, oh, sir, is this going to come up in the exam? And my answer, you know, my standard answer to a question like that is, yeah, of course, everything comes up in the exam somewhere. But the difference is this year for you lot, we are actually quite explicitly going to be putting questions from your lessons. Very similar looking questions are going to come up in your exam. We are going to do that to try and help you to to basically succeed, help you to get the best. So yeah, that's that's a positive. Now here's some of the good news. Your exams are going to be shorter, slimmer and much more manageable. We've gotten rid of a lot of content for you. I'm going to show you what that means. I'm actually going to physically cross out some 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 topics for you so you can see visually what we've actually gotten rid of. And you can still get any grade within the tier restrictions. You are going to have at least five opportunities to show this to us. At least five opportunities to give us the evidence that we will need to justify the grade that we want to give you. The last opportunity you're going to get, and this is the big exam really that we're focusing towards, is the one on the week commencing the 24th of May. You will have two papers to sit on that week. One will be a calculator paper, one will be a non-calculator paper. And like I said, they're going to be trimmed down, they're going to be slimmed down. We will even give you a topic list in advance. Not completely specific to that paper, but we will give you a list of topics which are going to be on the paper. And hopefully that will provide you with the best chance of proving to us what grade you think you, you, you deserve. And I want to say this, and this is really important. Um, I understand that right now it's a really difficult time for you um, and I know that it's confusing and it's frustrated I've got you know I've got cousins in in year 11 in other schools um, and they're telling me they're telling me about about how they're feeling and it's and it's a headache I understand that you're not sure about college you're not sure about apprenticeships you're not sure about what's going to go on next but I'm trying we I'm, I'm promising you from the behalf of my team that we will do everything we can to help you get to where you want to get to, okay? We'll be staying after school, we'll be, we'll be helping you with revision, we'll be helping you with maths watch homework, we'll be doing everything we can so that you can do the best you can do and you get the grades you deserve and ultimately you can go on to whatever it is you want to do next, whether that's college, whether that's A-levels or B-techs or apprenticeships or whatever you decide to do. So we understand it's difficult, we understand it's confusing, but if you work together with us and work hard you will smash these exams we are doing a lot of things for you that other year groups haven't received older year 11 groups didn't get a lot of this help so we are doing a lot to try and give you an opportunity to catch up that sort of that time you've missed okay i'm now going to go through the um topics that we've cut out and I want to show you physically I'm actually going to cross them out so you can see how much we've taken out of the papers okay um, here we go so set one this is what we're going to do for you 
Um, I gave you all this list of topics um, just before, I think, the Christmas break. And I told you, if you revise all of these topics, you will succeed. Okay? Now, that is still the case, but there's a few things that we're doing to try and help you. And one of those things is we are getting rid of a lot of topics. So one of the things, given that you're in set one, is that the grade one, grade two, grade three topics actually, and indeed the grade four topics, actually, for you, generally speaking, are quite basic. They're sort of taken for granted. So what I'm going to do straight away is say, that box, that box, and that box we can ignore. So we're looking at the bottom row. Now, in the bottom row, we've got grade four, we've got grade five, grade six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm going to start... Um, with the grade fours and I'm going to say there are a few things we're getting rid of in grade four so Fibonacci sequence see you later bisecting an angle no constructing no drawing triangle using compasses no on the grade five we're going to remove geometric progressions and we're going to remove Loki and we're going to remove stratified sampling now, just to remind you, there are a lot of topics here you've already done, okay? And so, if I take them out, it, it's you may argue it's a little bit pointless. This is why we didn't take them out, because you've already done lots of these topics. Now, grades 6, 7, 8, and 9 is where you're going to see the most change. So, for grade 6, for set 1, you're not going to see iteration or iterative processes. You're not going to see enlargement with a negative scale factor. You're not going to see proving circle theorems. For grade 7, you're not going to be seeing algebraic proofs. You're not going to be seeing transformations of functions. You're not going to be seeing equations of circles. For grades 8 and 9, you're not going to be seeing perpendicular lines. You're not going to be seeing completing the square. You're not going to be seeing simultaneous equations with a quadratic. You're not going to be seeing solving quadratic inequalities. You're not going to be seeing finding the nth term of a quadratic. You're not going to be seeing velocity time graphs. And you're not going to be seeing Pythagoras in 3D or trigonometry in 3D. So, as I hope you can appreciate, we have cut out a lot of content, but you'll notice we've left enough in there so that you can still achieve those grades 8s and grade 9s. But one thing you need to understand, set 1, year 11, is if you want to get a 9 or you want to get an 8, you have to prove it in the exam. So when you see the question on composite functions or inverse functions or algebraic fractions or vectors you have to answer that question right if you if you're looking for an 8 or a 9 okay that is the compromise that, that we're, we're striking here so yes we've limited things down a little bit but I need to see evidence that you've actually been able to answer the grade 8 grade 9 topic okay so the boundaries the grade boundaries are kind of a little bit a little bit irrelevant now now it's all about can you actually answer these questions when it comes to revision then folks, please make sure you're focusing on the right topics. So um, guys and girls, just to come back to this, um, you have now gone through a list of topics, you've seen what we've done, what I'm talking about when I'm saying we've streamlined your exam papers, and I hope you can appreciate um, that we are doing what we can to try and to help you to achieve the best you can achieve, okay? Um, that is ultimately guys that is what this is all about okay whatever you may feel about it whatever we may feel about it we are trying to help you to get the best grades so that you can get into you know get to the next stage whatever it is that you want to do all right so we've cut down all of the topic lists for all of the sets and uh, you have now seen that for yourselves all I'm gonna say then guys is I'm really looking forward to seeing you back in school um, um, on uh, Monday the 8th.
and uh, please stay safe, please look after yourselves and let's uh, hit the ground running when you get back, alright? Thank you for your time.